a week um, with a bang because I wanted to tell you guys about my first ever China Plus flip. <laughs> Um, so I'm sure you've watched the previous video where I talk about the reserve life and um, crash pad life, which has been really good to me so far. So no complaints, staying positive. But I wanted to tell you guys about my first trip on reserve. So I remember, okay, so passing my OE and right away they sent me to my crash pad. And so I have to fly from Phoenix all the way up to Orlando. So checked in my hotel, you know, got to meet the girls. And um, within a few days, they actually sent me to Fort Lauderdale. So they sent me to, the, you know, Fort Lauderdale to sit reserve. So I was like, well, that's fun. So I sat in a hotel there and I was on reserve on the weirdest shift. They had given me, I want to say, from 7 p.m. to like 5 a.m. Usually it's like a 10 hour shift. They, they're allowed to change it on you when you're out of base. So because I was out of uh, Orlando. So I'm just sitting there in my hotel waiting for them to call. And around midnight I got tired so I went to bed and I had my phone close by. They never called. Come the next day, because um, I was supposed to be there for three days. The next day in Fort Lauderdale, again, I called up a friend and I said, an old friend of mine, and we hung out all day together. And uh, she ended up, um, we ended up spending the entire evening together. We went to eat, we had fun. Um, and then she dropped me off back at my hotel and went to bed. And I woke up early morning and they hadn't called me either. So that was day two in Fort Lauderdale. And on my third day, I was supposed to fly back to base, but I asked them if I could go home and they did release me. So I ended up going home a day early, which was kind of nice. So, um, and then I remember going home for a few days and then I flew back to base um, a few days later because I only had a few days off. And then when I went back, I was right away on ready reserve, which means you're sitting at the airport and um, you wait for them to give you a call and you have about 15 minutes to get to the gate to get on the flight. So you're no longer on reserve at the hotel, you're ready reserve, which means you are at the airport itself. So I, I remember sitting at the airport, chatting with my husband with my phone, <clears throat> and the phone comes in. I mean, the phone call comes in and your heart like just jumps because you wanna make sure that the tone um, the ringtone for crew scheduling is different than all other air, um, all other phone calls because you want to be alerted when they call you. You don't want to miss that call. If it's three o'clock in the morning and you're on reserve, you want to be able to hear that call because you don't want to miss that call because you will get fired. <laughs> so um, I remember that tone was so loud. Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm at the airport waiting for them to call, thinking they won't call me. Sure enough, an hour in, they call me and they're like, you have exactly five minutes to get to the gate because you are going to Colombia. I remember going, what? Wait, 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 what? I haven't had one flight yet. I haven't even worked a flight yet. And I'm going to Colombia? Holy macaroni. Now technically they're supposed to give you 15 minutes, but that call, all I remember was like five, get to the gate in Colombia. And I was like, in shock. So I was already dressed up because you're obviously you're waiting reserve and uh, you're sitting reserved, so you're already in uniform. Got ready, got my bags, my bags are all ready, they were with me. Run to the gate, I had to take a shuttle because we have a, like a bus, kind of a train shuttle that we have to take to the gates. Grab that, um, ran to the gate, walked into the plane. I thought everybody was seated already because I'm thinking we're taking off. There was nobody in the plane and all I hear is, And sure enough, it was my dear sweet friend, Angie, <laughs> who I had just met that day. And I was talking to her about if I should transfer base closer to home or should I just stay in Orlando. So we were just having that talk and we had met and she was the sweetest thing ever. And um, I, she had told me she was going to Columbia, but it didn't register until I saw her on the plane. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm on your flight. And I know that she had been dying to get on that. Um, itinerary. She has been in, I think, I want to say three or five years. I want to say three years, maybe. She's been working for or my airline for three years and she's been wanting the Bogota or Colombia um, destination. And she finally got it after putting in for it. And now that she had it, she's so excited. And here I am on my first trip getting Bogota. <laughs> so, so I walk in the plane, she's like, oh my God, it's you. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. We start jumping and the captain comes out of the cabin and he's like, what is going on? 
<laughs> they ended up being the, the funnest guy. And it was late at night, because I remember I was sitting reserved from 5 p.m. all the way up to 10? Or was it 7 to 12? I don't remember. But um, all I recall is that my flight was at like almost 10 o'clock. And it was gonna get there uh, in the morning, like a, a couple of hours later, three, four hours later. So I was excited, I was nervous, because it was my first flight. And I was telling all the girls, this is my first flight, and they couldn't believe it. They're like, how could it be an international? And it's your first flight. But thankfully, uh, one of the flight attendants didn't show, and I was their replacement. So I was so, 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 so excited. Uh, come to find out, because it was a late flight, only out of 50 people, I think it was 75 people we were expecting, only like 50 showed up. So it was a really, really small amount of passengers, or guests is what we call them now. Um, and our plane holds about 145 passengers. So it was like just a little amount of people, which was good because it was like practice for me because it was my first flight. So I remember attending to them, um, you know, throughout the night. Some people, most of them were sleeping. So it was kind of nice to just kind of chat and get practice on the plane. And then I remember landing and we had a long way over. So we didn't get back on the plane two days later. So that was awesome. So we got to do some shopping the next day. We went to eat. Um, the pilot joined us. They were super, super nice. Uh, they treated us out, so we just had a great time. It was just a little cold, colder than what I anticipated, but who knew I was gonna go to Columbia, right? <laughs> so, um, came back the next day, we left at 5 a.m., and I think our plane landed at 10 uh, in Orlando, so it was so much fun. I remember heading back to my um, crash pad, and I was just so excited telling everybody, hey, I'm no longer a virgin. <laughs> I am not flying, I, I did my first flight, and it was in, Orlando, in Orlando, in um, Colombia, so everybody was like, yay, finally, I got your first flight, so I was all excited, and I was like, I remember thinking, this is really what I want to do, I really want to do this, because you don't know that you want to do something until you actually do it, and um, <clears throat> it was the best experience, the best crew, best people, usually, apparently, pilots don't meet up with flight attendants to have dinner, but they did, and it's unusual, but they did it, and it, like everything was special about that trip. So I remember it's like beginner's luck, whatever you want to call it. I was just so, so excited, and I'll make sure to post some videos. Uh, of <clears throat> Actually, we can't tell you what the hotel we stayed, but the food. Oh my God, the food was insane. It was like, if you've ever taken a cruise, you know where there's like food all over the place? We had like literally any kind of juice you can think of, any kind of milk, whether it's skim, uh, cow, or sheep. <laughs> I mean, everything that you ever wanted. You had pastries, you had donuts, you had all kinds of teas, you had all kinds of bread in different color. There was green and red. And I mean, I've never seen a breakfast as big as um, Colombia's breakfast. So they, we, they, we were really put in a five-star hotel and we were treated like queens and kings. So I was really excited about that. The only problem was we, that day that we had off was Sunday, so not a lot of stuff were open. So I was a little disappointed about that. And it was like, I think it was a holiday Sunday for some reason. So I was bummed, but you know, we got to do the best that we can. And the weather was really bad. It started raining, we got caught in the rain, we're all cold and wet. So we bought a hat, <laughs> so I wasn't ready to, be in the cold or rain and uh, I wasn't equipped for that weather so we ended up buying a hat and you'll see videos I'll probably either post a picture right here or at the end you'll see a little clip of what happened um, you know up in um, Colombia so but I remember coming back thinking you know what I am so happy this is what I want to do this confirms what I want to do with my life and so I was really really excited so coming back I remember telling all my friends about it and my family and my husband and my kids and they were just so, so excited. And they're like, oh my God, I brought back little souvenirs from Bogota, even though I stayed there overnight. And I'm at, it's actually, it was a long layover. It was actually two evenings, you know, and we left on the third morning at 5 a.m., but it still, it still counts for something. You know, you're not just there and then coming back. Because a lot of the trips are, are turns. So you basically fly in, and within 30 to 45 minutes, you're flying back. See, we got to stay one night. Um, with, you know, two nights, which was really pleasant. So um, that's most of the trips that people want to bid for and want. Because it's just nice, you know, just to kind of get away for a little bit. But with that said, um, that was my first trip to Bogota. So um, I was really excited. I haven't done any international since. I have flown to uh, Baltimore, I've done Jacksonville, I've done Tampa. Um, 
I want to say, what else did I do? Dallas, obviously, but I haven't done any international, but I'm going to try to bid for next month so I can have another international to tell you guys all about it. So, well, I hope you enjoyed my little story of beginner's luck, uh, Bogota girl. <laughs> and so if you guys are wondering, you know, how can I be a flight attendant? Where do I start? I will post the link below. Um, right now they're hiring for my airlines. I'm really excited. I hope you guys can join um, our family. Um, everybody's so friendly. Everybody's so nice. Um, we have a lot of hires for uh, Las Vegas right now. They're hiring in Las Vegas, Fort Lauderdale. They are no longer, I think, hiring for Orlando, unfortunately. Um, and you can't put in a transfer, I think, after July. I think it's over. So I could be wrong because things change all the time. But that's the rumor and that's what I've heard. So I wish you all good luck. Um, I hope that you make your dreams come true. Please don't give up. I've gotten so many CJOs, but at the same time, I've got so many denial letters. But I didn't let that get to me. And I just, you know what, I didn't let that. I let that determine. I let the airline determine um, who deserved me, you know, and I, and I know that I deserve the best and I just made the airline pick me and I um, obviously wanted to reciprocate that feeling and so you want to choose each other and you want to see if it's a good fit. So um, I just wish you guys all the luck and I hope you guys uh, can tell me all about your stories and your CJOs and your first trip. So I'm really excited to hear all about it. Nice talking to you guys. I'm trying to keep it under 12 minutes. <laughs> and so um, I can't wait to hear all about your stories, all right? Take care. Thank you so much for following me. Don't forget to subscribe because I have so many more videos coming up. I've got a few things that I want to talk about as well, but I'll be surprised for the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Let me get in the days off that I'm going to put. This menu it is insane the meat section and all the different drinks and all the different juices look at this presentation guys oh my gosh all the olive oils that you want toppings all the exotic fruits guava look at that oh my gosh so yummy Pineapple, sweet, amazing bananas, and all these little moodies, fresh corner, eggs, egg stand, dessert, tea, look at this stuff, toppings. Those waffles are awesome, by the way, you guys. <laughs> and then we got all this food here. Done. This. Ooh, look at these amazing sausages. Wow. Look at all of these dessert, you guys. Gosh. Seriously. This food is amazing. Unbelievable. And did I say the cheeses? Look at that. Oh my gosh. So yummy. And these are grapes actually that make wine. They're like the real grape. So amazing. Hello, we're here at the market. <laughs> Having fun. There's a huge drone on top. I don't know if you can see it. Oh well. And we're shopping. Oh my god, my hair looks so great here. <laughs> there you go. What are you shopping for? Hey guys, we're in Bogota. Shopping from beautiful stuff. Look at that. So many people. It's gonna rain, but who cares? We're just gonna get a little wet. I'm here with my girls. Sorry. Oh, there's so many people. And there's an amazing thing. There they are, girls. Hello. 
<laughs> it's so cute. Wow, beautiful. Galina. It's gorgeous. Un artista. Señora. Todos hey, pintados con la boca, amigos. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. We're stuck in the rain, baby. Woohoo! Well, we're making the best out of it. How come you don't get lipstick? There you go. <gasps> Pretty rain. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, the other baby. Woo! <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, you did so good. Can I get a smile? Yeah, I don't think yeah. I did it in a moment. 